In this project Invercart video, sponsored by Haggerty Insurance, Little Tuck gets driven about a bit, locks me out the engine and ends up back in the garage again. Well today I'm very grateful to Mark, who um, he rescued a number of cars from the same field as this Invercar and uh, he sent me some brand new unused door seals to replace the ones that have fallen off this car and um, a pair of drive belts as well. They're pretty substantial things and I just smacked myself in the face with that so I know that to be true. Um, so I'm hoping I don't need these but it's nice to have them just in case I do. <laughs> Alright, I've just refitted the rather manky bathtub between engine and transmission. We've got the engine cover fitted again. So what does that do to noise levels? Oh, that makes a big difference. Oh, I'm glad the brakes are good. That's much quieter. That's almost refined. I found a very easy way to keep my emotions in check while I'm driving this car. Uh, I fitted some sensible advice. Pleased to report, I've clocked up well over a mile just driving back and forth on my driveway. Uh, it goes up going backwards or forwards, so those aren't all miles going forwards, those are the total miles this thing has done. Brilliant. Um, I might have to get some fuel soon though, because, um, yeah, look, my fuel warning light's on. Also, because there's no rear window and the car's been sitting out for a couple of nights, a bird has pooed on my fuel gauge. Hmm. I appear to have fitted a rear screen to um, Little Tuck. Seeing as she's outside at the moment, I thought she might appreciate it. It's, yeah, sort of fitted the wrong way around. Uh, the writing is the wrong way around, and also the bead that locks it in place is on the inside. But hey, maybe that's no good thing. That's more secure, surely. Um, cue lots of people telling me why I shouldn't have done that. I, mean, I was, haven't repaired any of the damage, but it does seem to fit. So I'll take that, certainly for now. Jobs are good. Un. This is proven problematic. Because despite turning the key and hearing the lock opening, um, the engine cover is not coming off. Um, time to investigate options. Well there we go, I managed to get it off in the end. I think there's something wrong with the latch, but um, after unbolting these top hinges I managed to um, wiggle it off. So if we move that kind of penetrating oil over there, and we remove this chock from there. So she hasn't run for a couple of days now because I've been um, unable to get in the engine bay. So got the electric still a bit low on fuel. Do need to get some more. And one pump of throttle. Right, I think we've got somewhere with this one. If I pretend that's the lock, or the latch rather, then it goes, so that's now in the locked position. If I turn the key, it pings back as it should. It wasn't doing that, so um, that's good progress. Just a bit more penetrating oil in there, get everything nice and loose. And I can refit the engine cover again. Right, I've decided it would be a good idea to get Tuck inside before the snow gets worse. Let's see if Tuck agrees. Oh, come on Tuck, I know it's cold. It really is cold, by the way. It's, um... Somewhere below freezing at the moment, and the thick gloopy oil probably isn't helping. Should probably have 20 grade in this time of year and I've got 30 grade in.
I wonder if it's snowy enough for burnouts. No, apparently not. And, um, well, yeah, not very much to report, really, on Invercar, just some pottering about on the driveway, really, although that's been brought to a halt today because it's, um, it, it's a bit snowy. Uh, so I've brought Tuck back into the garage, um, which I think she'll appreciate. It's um, a tropical two degrees in here this morning, I think. Oh, no, it might have gone up to three degrees. Whoa, toasty. So um, I can't say I'm greatly enamoured by the idea of doing any work, but... Now, we have got progress. Um, Tuck is now running much better than ever. Still that slight miss, but, you know, she's getting there. And um, starts beautifully, apart from when it's really, really cold like it was this morning. Uh, that was very cold indeed, but a change of oil would probably help there. It's a bit too thick. So, yeah, I've, I've still got to solve my door handle quandary. That's still the big one that's stopping me getting an MOT. Um, I'm... I haven't quite worked out how I'm going to resolve this one yet, but I'm sure something will come to mind, even if I have to bodge something up literally just to get it through the MOT. So, got that to do. I've got the um, new door seals down here to fit. I've got mess everywhere again. I already need to have a tidy up of my tidy garage. And yeah, hopefully, we can get this little car on the road next month. That is still the aim. Um, the, Blizzards forecast later this week and sub-zero temperatures even during the daytime mean I'm not going to be doing an awful lot in the next week. I've got another magazine deadline. I've just put one magazine to bed today. I've got another one to do next week. So lots of busyness, but yeah, lots of hope. And um, hopefully this little car will soon be on the road. Fun times!